Hey students, Armando here, and welcome to the Topic 7 Profiles and Leadership presentation. I'm going to be walking you through a set of slides so you can see what a properly completed presentation should look like. And again, more importantly, I want you to focus in not only on the slides, but more importantly, the notes section where your main content should be located as well as your research information. So again, everyone is doing their individual slides. Everyone asks the exact same questions. And now you are going to kind of see how it was put together by one of the previous courses. Now here where it says student name, again, you should, your first slide should include everyone that worked on their projects and is a part of the overall project that's being submitted. Again, only one person for the team will submit the final project. So it is, you know, that person's responsibility or the group's responsibility for everyone to upload their individual projects in the CLC group. And then one person will have to take that information, put it all together, right, uh, into one slideshow and then submit that on behalf of the team. So again, let's go ahead and walk through this. So now as we go into uh, this first student slide, again, you can see here that, you know, the slide, even though it has some text, right, just some, some overall information, here's a good image. But again, here is where the explanation of the slide really is built. It's built into the notes section because you can't convey all this information uh, into a slide. Again, also note here how they use references, right, to connect the research even on their very first slide. And again, all of that info is located in the notes section. Let's head over to the next slide. Again, just so you can kind of see and get an idea how this student's slides were put together, okay, who they interviewed and so forth. And then again, some of the questions that they used in the interview. But again, take a look at the notes section. That is where the main content is being located as well as some of the reference information and important information with regard to these interview questions. Now, we're still on the same presentation. Now we're into the third slide, which now covers, as you can see, uh, questions four through six and same format, right? Down at the bottom, here is the explanation for each of the additional questions that this student is going over. So again, good, good example for you to follow as you're putting together your presentation. Here we go now into the leadership model that's closely aligned. And again, you have some nice bullet points and the student did an excellent job, right? Just highlighting the main bullet points and then going into deeper content in the notes section. There you have a reference there. There you have a reference there. So again, just doing a super nice job, not only putting the slide deck together, but then adding the meat and potatoes into the notes section, okay? Then we go into the last slide for this student. And again, you can see here how what this student did was go ahead and put the references right on a final slide because their references are particular to their presentation. And that's basically it, right? That is one presentation for one student in this one CLC group. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll show you one more slide deck so you can kind of get an idea, right? You always want to start your first slide with who is the person, right? Who is the student? So your name needs to be somewhere on the first slide so I know it belongs to you and I can give you proper credit. Again, so now as we go into the first main slide of this student, the second presentation of this group, you can see again, you've got some bullet points of leadership values. And then again, we've got our main content down here at the bottom. Then we go into the interview questions. Again, same thing here. You know, nice job explaining this. Then we go into more of the questions more in depth. But again, look where the main explanation is located. All of that is located on the notes section. We then go into... Uh, the servant leader, right? Some of the main principles, again, nice images being used. And then we have a final reference page. In this case, it would be a slide indicating what was their main reference that they used. Okay, so that would be the second student in this uh, presentation. And again, I just walk you uh, through a couple slides just so you can see how this is the same type of format for every student who submits uh, his or her slide. Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, that's the way the slide 
deck should look like. Again, every student has their own four, five, six, seven slides, and then one person is going to kind of collect all of them on behalf of the team and submit that as one PowerPoint, and I'll do exactly what I did now. I'll go through each of the slides. I know it's your slide because it'll have your name on it, right? For example, here's the person, right? And then I'll know it's your slide, and then again, I'll be able to grade you based on your slides and the notes section. So I can tell you right off the bat, if you don't include research and you don't include a note section, you are going to take a serious hit on your score because submitting just slides alone uh, doesn't really meet uh, the entire purpose of the assignment. Okay, so I hope this visual walkthrough gave you uh, some ideas on how to put your slides together. And of course, if you have any questions, you can definitely send me a message uh, inside the course. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.